Hi, it's Becky. This tutorial is in response to a drag and drop question that comes up often in the Articulate community. Here's an example. In this drag and drop, learners are instructed to drag a purple flower into either of the pots that's labeled purple. But when I display the drag and drop editor, you can see that I can only assign one target to an item. So learners would have to, for example, drag this purple flower to this pot and this purple flower to this pot. But that's not what I want. So the trick is to use a pick one freeform quiz. When you look at this slide, you can see it looks very much like the drag and drop. I've already inserted all my objects. Plus, there are two offstage buttons. More on those in a minute. And as with a drag and drop freeform, you'd click on insert, convert to freeform. Since I've already created my quiz, you're seeing Remove Freeform. First, let's talk about the items that are on the stage. As we saw, each flower is going to be dragged onto a flower pot. I've assigned a drop correct state to two of the flowers. This is how we can let Storyline know that an object has been dropped on the correct target. To see how this works, let's add the drop correct state to the yellow flower together. So we click the flower and the states tab, edit states, new state. You choose drop correct from this drop down, then add and done editing states. Now triggers have to be set up to change the state of the flowers to drop correct if they're dropped on the correct targets. This is how we let Storyline know that learners made the correct choice. I've already set these up, but let's take a look at them, particularly the purple flower triggers. Remember, the two purple flowers can be dropped on either purple target. When I click the drag purple one trigger in the trigger panel, notice that its associated flower is selected on the slide. I'll double click so we can look at this trigger. So see what's happening is we're changing the state of this drag purple one flower to a state of drop correct when object dropped on and the object is that drag purple one flower when it's dropped on either the purple target notice that that's highlighted in red on the slide purple target one or if it's dropped on purple target two the same trigger has been applied to the other purple flower and of course the yellow flower is triggered as correct when it's dropped on the yellow flower pot Okay, all three flower triggers are set up. Now for where the pick one comes in. Remember, we have these two buttons off stage. If I click the pick one editor, you can see that I've already set it up with two choices. Either this button, the correct button, must be selected, or the incorrect button. And note that the correct button is the correct answer. As I said, I've already done it. You would do it when you convert this slide to a freeform pick one quiz. Now to make it work, we need to add a new trigger, which I've already added. I'll double click it so we can take a look. It tells Storyline to change the state of the correct button to selected when the user clicks submit on condition that all the flowers have the drop correct state. So notice there's ands here. So purple flower one and purple flower two and yellow flower need to have the drop correct state. And this will cause the correct layer to appear. And Storyline needs to know to change the state of the incorrect button. Let's add that trigger together. So we need to change the state of the incorrect button to selected when the user clicks the submit button, but only on condition that the state of any of the flowers is not equal to drop correct. So flower number one needs to not be equal to drop correct. Or notice we're using or this time. The other purple flower needs to be not equal to drop correct. Or the yellow flower 
needs to be not equal to drop correct. And last, you need to make sure the submit interaction trigger is at the bottom of the trigger panel. So let's take a look and see if that's working. I'm going to drag either of these flowers to either of the purple pots or the pots that are labeled purple. And I'll drag the yellow flower and I'll click submit. And I got the answer correct. So give that a try. And if you have any questions, please shout out in the Articulate community.